from D.C. and Kyle, you asked him about this controversy. That's right, Stacia. And while we've heard the snippets from NPR, we did want to track down our own copy, but we weren't able to do so. So we cut to the core of the matter when we spoke with Senator Tillis, asking him if he thought Senator Burr held back the full extent of the coronavirus threat from the public. No, I don't think so. In fact, I think that that was uh, largely a hit piece against Senator Burr. Senator Burr's record on rapid response to disasters dates back to long before I ever got into politics. Senator Burr came up in a roughly the same time frame that this revelation occurred and was calling on the president to act more decisively and more rapidly, like me. I said, let's plan for the worst and hope for the best. But if you, if you go back and see the way Richard Burr operates here, he's one of the most respected members in the U.S. Senate. He's not a show horse. He's a workhorse, and he's been working every day to try and accelerate the response. He's on the Committee of Jurisdiction that focuses on health, and he's a very, very well-regarded and very vocal voice in committee settings where he can get the work done. But he's also called on the president, called on state agencies, and everyone else to step up their game. And I did reach out to the North Carolina State Society, which hosted the event in question. So far, I haven't heard back. Stacia. All right. Thank you, Kyle.